Couldn't bring myself to do it. What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still, that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yes, she's very centered. A regular you oasis of peace and tranquility, this one. I anger issues and worse friends. No you? wonder I'm so upset. You too, please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. <gasps> Come, come, Miguel, come. Awesome. So, Fab, if you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubts. So why is she driving a tank on hers? Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole. Now we begin to put the asshole to the air. Yes, we begin each sequence. Tatasana. Yes. Or mountain pose. All right. Un, deux, trois. Mouth and anus are perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. Un, deux, trois. Now, Michael. I don't know about this. In and out with the breath, Michael. Very good. Now let it go. Feel all that hostility, insecurity, and self-centeredness drift away. Now, in through the bloated nose, and out through those wrinkled lips. How you say, 
This is uh, funny and sad at once. Lose yourself. You are just one mung bean in the great stool of the Ishta Devata. In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? Maintain it. Air through the nose and out the mouth. If we put him on a six month kale only diet, he might just get healthy or die. In and out with the breath, Mikhail. Out with the breath. That is okay. This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. Feel that the emotion inside. Let it go. <laughs> Michael, join us. Okay. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. The silly man forgets to breathe. Exhale. There. There it is. You can breathe, can't you? You feel that? Now, you breathe. Let it out, you're turning red. Tight! Tighter! Breathe, Mikkel. Now think of all the strippers who've been over to pick up your dollar bills. Now, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm. He may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata. Yeah. Feel the flow. Mm -mm. Everything mm. is flowing in me. Oh. Mike, would you? Put the Luna to the face. You gotta start braiding those armpits, Amanda. Your core, it is rotten, no? Transcendence is attainable. Breeze, please, Michael. Out through the mouth. You're sweaty, Michael. That's all the impurities coming out. Take in the air and release it. Isn't this better than robbing, murdering, and being an asswipe? Your lungs, they work, yes? Out through the mouth. Your inner eye. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Lengthen. Strengthen. Let it go. Look at the concentration on his face. It's like a gorilla with a cell phone. Breeze, please, Michael. For me, Titor is okay. Take in the air and release it. Let it out, baby. We might be about to witness the first yoga induced heart attack. <sighs> <laughs> you have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikael. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back, back, back. Yes, there you go. Oh, mm, oh, oh! 
Yoga is the answer, Mikkel. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving, and we are never coming back. Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! Hand it! Bony! French! Fucking Yogi! Ah! Jimmy! You still here? James! Go away! Oh yeah, fuck you. You know what, if there was a rape button, I'd be using it right now. Unless you're a fag... Nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on, I wanna go for a ride. I gotta meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I wanna get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on! This is fucking bullshit! Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies! They're the only people you speak to! So where's your friend? Burger shop? Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope smoking, game playing, live at home, world owes him a living millennial. I knew it. I knew it. The mask was gonna slip. The monster's been exposed! The hell are you talking about? The real you. That bitter, vindictive old man. You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim. How many times... I love you. I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. But why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of the city. You brought me here, Michael. Don't get surprised when some of the razzle-dazzle rubs off. Well, I thought you'd keep your head. You'll see through some of the bullshit. Maybe that's what I'm trying to do. If you think you're walking around a town full of idiots with your Midwestern picket fence values, then you're probably the biggest idiot here. Wake up! Oh, what did I bring into this world? have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. <laughs> there he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <laughs> Yo, oh, bro, man, what's, man? Up? what's up, doing? man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Ooh. <laughs> ah, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, DJ yeah, you, you get that other thing? You never want to be oh, the yeah, smartest yeah. person in the room. You Come on, man, what the fuck, Jimmy? Just, just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Careful man. with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. What the fuck they know about black people? All righty then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? 
<laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine. No. Really? This is not Chill normal. Chill out. You're just paranoid. This is not paranoia. This is totally justified concern. <laughs> you should see yourself. Just chill out and drive home. What is this? I gotta stop. Oh, who's in there? It's harmless. Vets have been using it for decades. What? You anesthetized me? You fucking I'm shit. protecting you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. What? All right? You're too crazy, Dad. Come on. Give it! Jimmy, you little shit. Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who is a close friend 
And then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda.